already started painting the vanity black. So we'll check back in once that's done. <laughs> is all painted I added these pools that were in my kitchen so used them in the bathroom um tonight I am going to add trim to this window and I'll show you guys how I add that so I am using my Ryobi power nailer it is the six gallon 150 psi and I've already got one nail in there so I could show you guys what I want to do is taking my nail gun, pressing it against the wood, and securing it to the wall. Easy. So I got two trim pieces cut tonight, and somehow got the wrong size cut for the top trim piece. So I have to go back to Home Depot tomorrow and get another top piece cut. I guess I better measure properly. Okay, so I just finished putting the trim up and I just need to caulk all my seams and then it's gonna look perfect. And you guys will see it's gonna be painted white. Okay, so I just caulked around the window seal and around the window frame and, and I spackled all of the areas where the nail gun holes went. So I just need to sand those and then you can see where I caulked the line to close off the lines between the wood. So, probably in the next few minutes after I sand, I will be ready to paint the trail. So now the window is done and I've painted the inside and now I'm just going to wait. I've ordered the window shade so that should be in later this week and then I will install that and this window will be completed. I found the perfect mirror at Target but it's a gold finish and I actually already have this mirror downstairs in my family room but um, I am going to use silver leaf rub and buff. I've, I've already started and I'm gonna make it silver. To make it silver, that's the um, rub and buff right there. So I'm just squeezing out a little bit onto some old fabric. Just taking my fingertips and I am really messy when it comes to like DIY and stuff. So I could wear gloves, but it just washes off with soap and water. So I am simply just rubbing it onto the, to the base. So we are measuring the backer board or the bathroom.
cement board screw. So we just used our drill and just went directly into the vinyl through the subfloor with the drill, just like that. So now I'm just doing a dry run of the tile and the tile just locks into place to one another because it's on the mosaic mesh back backing like that. So it literally just locks into one another like this. And I'm just starting about a quarter of an inch from the wall because that is where my shoe molding is gonna be laid back down. So you see, I started at the bathtub and I just went out. So that's what I got so far. So to set my tile, I am using ceramic tile adhesive and my tile is marble. So I paid attention to the um, tub and it says it sets porcelain, ceramic, marble and stone tile. Got me some one eighth inch spacers. Cause even though the tile is, um, even though they're mosaic, it's a mosaic and it's on a, a mesh backing, I still need to make sure each, each one is spaced properly. So got some of those. And then I got my economy trial. So let's get started. Okay, so what I am doing, I am using my, my uh, trial and I'm taking the smooth side and I'm using the smooth side to apply the thin set. So I'm just doing it like this. Wide enough for each piece. Or some people, you can do it wider if you know you're gonna be applying a bunch of tile pieces. And I know I'm at least be applying several tonight, so. I'll go a little bit wider for each one that I apply. And now using the jagged side, I'm going to go over the thin set that I applied. Like this, and just adding the lines. See the lines through there? thin set on there and it's hard to do holding this camera so I'm gonna put this one down but then I'm gonna go back with the rest of them not holding the camera so I'm just moving it and it's about a quarter inch from the wall as you can see here quarter inch from the wall and a quarter inch from the bathtub and that's where my shoe molded is gonna go like I said So this is one sheet and this is another sheet. So I'm just gonna add these 1 8 inch spacers in between so that the sheets are properly spaced apart and equally spaced apart. I'm gonna add them in between each one that I separate. So the spacers just help it as it adheres to the backer board. It's just gonna help it be equally spaced apart. This is not what you want. You do not want your thin set seeping through the cracks of your tile because the grout will not be able to set into the tile if you have thin set hardened in there. So I have to find a, something like a car, piece of cardboard or something to uh, get that thin set out of there. So for the areas that I had to leave gapped, like this one and this one, I am going to use individual pieces that I just pulled off of the entire um, sheet. I just pull, I need 10, so I just pull 10 off. And um, that's why you have to buy extra so that you have enough for just like random things like that. So I'm just gonna put some mortar directly on the back of the piece and just stick it directly in the spot. So I'll put the mortar directly on the back and I'm just going to stick it in that spot.
Can you even tell? I stuck it in there. I'm gonna do the same for that spot. So it is about 10.20 p.m. and I'm calling it a night. I will continue to on tomorrow. So, but this is where I am so far. Mm -hmm.